Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Dreadout 2. This is episode 6. So last time we dealt with the Lady in Black Ghost. We don't actually have an official name for her yet, but that's what she looks like. Who sent a bunch of other spirits after us in the town. Including a giant troll thing and a teleporting tiger. And then we actually fought her, but we couldn't beat her because she was too powerful. So a fortune teller rescued us and then sent us to this haunted hotel. Where this vlogger crew of, like, ghost hey hunters guys, are going to, uh, probably get killed? Dion and Jono, welcome to Ghosts Caught in the Act. Okay, so some naughty ghosts. The scariest show ever. Hey, who are you? Are you here to vlog too? Hey, where are you going? Please tell us if you find anything scary. The things I've seen would make your influencer eyeballs pop right out with feigned shock. Is it really just the two of them? Or is there a third one? She named two other people. Amy, Jono, and somebody else. Anyway, we're gonna go investigate for ghosts now. Oh, there's the other one. Turn our flashlight on. So apparently we're supposed to be fighting the spirit in her own realm. Albie, you scared me, fam. I thought you're Amy. I was gonna pull a sweet prank on her for extra views. Where on earth did you come from, huh? Alright, I'll come right away. He's not moving. I don't know where he's going. This is an abandoned hotel, which still has power, and a very, very clean elevator. Well, it's the only way up, because we can't go anywhere else. So yeah, I feel like we don't really have a, a direction as Linda right now. We're just kind of going from place to place, and getting pulled in by spirits. Kinda it's like been this. A while. Finally, my favorite student has come to visit. Did you miss me? Shh, don't answer that. That was rhetorical. Listen. Ah, your heartbeat. This sounds more like an old woman now. I can hear it. Anger. Self doubt. And is that guilt, perhaps? <laughs> Poor girl. It's a little weird that anytime we hear Siska's voice, it's just a black screen with text. You never see her like creepy ghost talking at us. This is. Well, I mean, this is kind of why we came here. I'm back to this realm. I need to find her fast. I'll handle Siska later. Alright, so we're after the lady first. So again, no camera here, which means we are back to hoping we find something to stab with. Oop. Chunko. You know, we don't really have an excuse for not bringing a weapon this time. We knew we were coming here for trouble. Oh my god, there's so many doors. room is empty. This room is empty. I feel like we're going to be seeing a lot of empty rooms 
as we try to find the important one. Why do they all have meat bathrooms? Hey, cat. You here to help me out? Oh, fire axe. You are here to help me out. I mean, I probably would have found that without you, but thanks for the thought. Huh? An axe? This could be handy to help me survive the situation. I must keep on moving. Don't stop for anything. <laughs> Alright, so the axe works just like the other axe. In that it's heavy and awkward. Hey, it's you again. How do you know I'm here, girl? It's almost like you're keeping an eye on me. Possibly two large green glowing ones. I'm still fairly certain that cat is one of the previous keepers of the dark. I mean, I'm pretty sure that white cat was in the f Oh, hello, I didn't even see you. Right, the flash doesn't work on him. What? Bye. Come back, I need to finish you off. All right, stealth kill. Meanwhile, the cat remains pristine. Kind of funny that now that we got the axe, the ready-to-fight music has gone away. <laughs> Can't cut this stuff, right? These red vines. Red seeds. It also does have kind of a Silent Hill vibe, the just like making your way through a shitty old apartment. Let's see, Silent Hill 2 has an apartment area, Homecoming has an apartment area. So that's not exactly that inaccurate. I can't remember if 3 has one, I think it does. <laughs> I think I remember you having to do stuff for ghosts. But that might have also been homecoming. Alright. Well, we killed him. Oh. Wow. Slaughtered. Wow. Also, are there 12 floors? Are we on... <laughs> 12th floor right now? I guess we didn't exactly see how far the elevator went. There's someone beefy back there. That's where we came out. He's got big glowing red eyes. He is armored, but has a big weak point on his back. Stun him. I mean, that's pretty intuitive to figure out. Okay, there's a hole in the floor there. I'm stuck. I'm stuck between the door being open and closed. Alright. Again, Linda has no problem executing these things once we get our hands on a weapon. She is ghost hunter extraordinaire. Alright, I guess we're supposed to slide down here. No going back now. I mean, there isn't really much impetus to explore unless there's like a puzzle item we need. For the most part, you don't get anything for looking around. This elevator seems to be out of order. There must be another way. Also, is this where we came from? Did I just backtrack by accident? I mean, I don't remember that room being there. Okay, that door doesn't open. Hmm. The yellow light seems important. Door doesn't open, that door doesn't open. It's weird how they have a bunch of these doors blocked by red vines to show that you can't go that way, 
And then some of them are just regular doors that also don't open. I heard something. It came from somewhere in this floor. Okay. Don't know what the best way to deal with that would have been. Probably to stun him. And then smack the shit out of him before he exploded. Okay, but... I heard something. It's coming from nearby. Password? Huh? <laughs> I never thought anyone would guess that password. Uh, hi, ghost lady. You look... unpleasant. No. Oh, I looked away and she's gone, just like a ghost would be. Item added to inventory. Okay, but what is the <laughs> the item? It didn't even say. We got... 11th floor emergency door key. Okay, so yeah, that's the yellow light door. We haven't gotten any ghost entries, right? No, still all the same ones. So I guess all of the ones we're fighting in here are still just dreadlings. Two three zero six three two. These numbers might be useful. Did you write them down, Linda? Because I can't take a picture of them. Two three zero six three two. Probably have to remember that. Yeah, I still can't use my phone. Two three zero six three two. Yeah. Uh, let's write that down real quick. Since I have the paper just sitting here in front of me anyway, might as well use it. Or down. I feel like we go up first, because we'll hit a dead end faster this way, and know if it's not the way to go. Like that. See? Now we know we have to go down. I suppose the whole bit about fighting her in her area is relevant here, because when we fought her before, it was in the real world. I guess that it was just to open that door. There was like a combination lock we didn't couldn't see. There's the ghost hunter team. Hey guys, balik lagi di Ghost Caught the Hey guys, back again with Ghost Caught the Axe. After exploring each level in this abandoned hotel, unfortunately, we didn't get any proof of Dark Spirit's existence. But me and my team here won't stop until we get him for you guys. That is for today. Until we meet again in another episode of Ghosts Caught in the Act. Amy Dion and Jono out. These guys don't seem like they can see me. I hope you guys on the other side are alright. I mean, all the ghosts are on this side. <laughs> Something just touched me. Ugh. I didn't actually want to shimmy yet, Linda. Go back. She doesn't want to go back. Don't want to fall or we'll fall forever in this realm of the dead. It's gonna get jump scared by one of these windows. Like 
that ghost girl there that we just passed. Though somehow, I don't think she's the dark spirit that we're here to kill. Or banish? Rekill? Not really sure. Elevator's out of order. I keep hearing more enemies, but I don't think they're on our floor. Hotel thief found dead. Maung District, May 2nd, 1991. Fulan bin Fulan, an unknown male, was found dead inside the Hotel India, Indi Mui. Near his body, a pile of stolen goods from the hotel were also found. Detective Dika, the head investigator, said from the autopsy the cause of death is the major head trauma. He later added that Fulan's death could be caused by the infighting with his fellow thieves. Don't actually, don't actually know how to scroll down on that. Unless we just can't. Like, there's a... Oh, there we go. Uh, the scroll bar works inverse. <laughs> so scrolling up scrolls down. Interestingly, another opinion also came from this abandoned property squatter. They said that Fulan's death was caused by the supernatural factor. According to them, magical relics were stored inside the hotel. Fulan, who tried to steal them, was killed by ghosts. Also, don't know why I could just read that but not pick it up. Alright, so maybe we just need some magical relics. Doesn't look like there's any magical relics in here, just black bold. That'll kill you faster than the ghosts. seem like we can go anywhere else on this floor. Those are both blocked. <laughs> Door's locked. Like, it feels like I'm supposed to take this, whatever this is, but... It doesn't seem to be anything, except a note. There we go, there's a rope, I didn't see that. A rope? Maybe I can use it to go down there. Alright. You deserve that. <laughs> For standing right where I spawn. Popping him like that seemed to have not caused me any damage, but she did a weird, like, animation after he blew up. Uh, hello? Door? I'm blocked by something. I think there was an invisible enemy in there. Or this guy? I don't know what just happened. I do like that the more enemies you fight, the more blood she gets covered in. One's also out of order. Sounds like there's a ghost in the elevator. Okay, this is where we came from, right? Those monsters up there? I don't think so. What monsters? We slaughtered them all. Okay, nothing else in here. That was literally a monster closet. Hmm. 
that's the eighth floor. I guess we're trying to go back down now. That the haunted elevator took us up. Be gone. Yeah, I can stab too, you know. So it doesn't actually affect her when she's running. As we descend into her realm. Will she just stand there if I don't do anything? Or float there? You let me out. I don't know if I have to beat her. You no fun. Let's play another time. We're already Let's Playing. I'm here to kill you, ghost. With nothing but an axe. I don't even really have much in the way of supernatural powers right now. something glowing down there and some rapidly shutting elevator doors. Oh, it's another one of these backstabbers. Or backstabbies? him to not be st oh now I'm stuck I'm literally wedged in place I cannot move all right it's fine we can recover we've already got most of our health back at this point Linda please She didn't want to do the animation that time. She was just swinging. You'd think maybe at this point these spirits would have a healthy fear of Linda. Because she's obviously fucking nuts. Whatever was messing with the door, we stopped it. But how do we get to the elevator? Oh, I didn't see the hole in the wall. Right, because it worked out so well when we got in the elevator the first time. You know, the weird thing is, when you're not in distorted reality, you can actually rotate the camera around to look at Linda, but in here, she always rotates with the camera. I think we're on the first floor again. I mean, that looks like the way to go.
I don't like that all these areas are open. Doesn't mean we probably need something from in here. So let's try the door first. These staircases were blocked before. Let's go down the hiss hallway. That's a door, that's a door. What the? It wasn't locked before. Who did this? Nothing says evil spirit like putting a padlock on a door. Locked. What lies behind this door? The exit or something else? I must find the right key. And that explains why we can still look around. Nothing in here. Yeah, so these two doors don't open for whatever reason. Another identical room. I suppose we need to find these magical relics to open this door, perhaps? Or just a key. go through those doors. So, that just leaves the upstairs. Or upstairs, plural, because there's multiple floors. What are you doing here, little banjo goblin? Psst. Hey, you! Wanna get out from here? Listen, it was my master who locked that door. He stashed the key in one of these rooms. Go find it now before it's too late. All right, rocker. I probably could have figured that out with your help, but at least you're trying to help. And not trying to steal my axe. He's got an axe of his own. Or would axe really only refer to an electric guitar, not just a regular guitar? to the staircase. Somehow I don't think it's going to be in the bathroom. Alright, this looks like an important room. There's even a, a computer in here. This is how the ghost lady spends her days not getting bored. So we got... Hotel Lobby Key. A key to open the way out from dangers inside the empty hotel. <laughs> Sorry, what? Damn, the key is stolen. I gotta find the culprit. Well, shit, just wanted me to find the key so we could take it. I'm glad they brought back the twangy theme these guys had in the first game. I think I need to... He does, like, a damage aura. Hi, hi, hi. Catch him if you can. Alright, so it wasn't him. I don't know if I need to hit him or stun him. Seems like I have to hit him, but <laughs> he just interrupts me. Either that or I just have to chase him to a specific spot. Yeah! Alright, they sent their big boy at me. Yeah! What? Why did the music stop? I think their champion just went through the wall. He's like over here now. <laughs> Jank. Jank to the max. Oh, he came back.
I like how that just completely broke, like, instantly. <laughs> I'm sorry, did he become invisible for a moment there? Well, that was weird. <laughs> Try that again. Maybe he won't clip through the wall. It's the idea that he, like, tackled the wall so hard that... <laughs> he flew right through it. So I suppose we just have to chase this guy. It sucks that there's no checkpoint when you get to their little arena, though. Alright, he goes in here. Here's something big stomping around. That might be outside. Alright, we gotta slay their champion, who's very quick and is unaffected by the stun. It's like the intro to Final Fantasy X music. Alright. Where did he go? Oh, he's still going. I lost him. I think he went through the wall again. Oh. Whoa. He came back. You can only get one hit on him, though. Alright. This seems to actually be working now. Unfortunately, having to resync there after a slight stutter has killed the music again. Your champion is defeated. He a little bitch compared to us. Master! No! Please don't die! Quotation mark. <laughs> That's what you get, you little goblins. Alright, so we got a bunch of things. Finally, I managed to get the key. I must return to the locked door and see what lies behind it. The weird thing is, you can't really use the mouse in this menu, but you kind of have to, to go back and forward. Okay, so we got the key back. Tuyul Jawara, the leader of the hotel indie Mui Tuyul Pak. Usually harmless, but mischievous, will try to play a dangerous game with anyone who gets lost in their territory. We'll force you to fight him in an arena. those eyes up ahead? Nope, that's the elevator buttons. That was really creepy for a second. I can't tell what that sound is. It sounds like it's coming from the elevator. Alright, let's head through the door and see what is on the other side. We're just going to walk out into the dark spirit realm. Blood splattered Linda, very cautious.
right? We're still in the distorted reality, the red sky. But we also managed to get rid of all the blood somehow. The blood was property of the hotel itself. All right, showdown on the rooftop? I guess we're back on the roof, even though we were supposed to be in the lobby. Hey, you sure you want to do this? I've got an axe, and you just got a dinky little knife. All right. I guess blasting her doesn't really work. Because she just disappears. No, she just teleports out of the way. I feel like our strategy of hit her with an axe is not going to work here. Because even if she's in the middle of an attack animation, she'll still dodge. And then counter. Except she counters by just, like, appearing. She doesn't actually attack. Alright, is there anything we can do with the environment? She's gonna kick our ass at this rate. Linda, maybe this was a bad plan. Alright, we can't, like, break down the hotel sign. Hmm. What if we flash her when she's attacking? It's hard to do, though, because it takes so long to charge up. I don't know how to hurt her. Like, we don't really have a lot of tools to work with here. We have the flash, we have the axe, and we can run. That's about it. And I don't suppose you got any ideas? Nope. Just wonder if there's anything else here that I missed. Using flashlight to stun and continue charging close to the enemy will trigger execution attack. Yeah, that's just the what we've been doing. Oh, this would have been helpful to know, though. Some objects are not visible to the naked eye. When Linda senses one, her bracelet will go blue. A mysterious object is nearby. Whereas when it glows red, a ghost is nearby. I don't know, it's not like we really have, like, environmental stuff we can use against her either. Well, I hit her. Seems like the strategy is to swing where she's gonna be. So yeah, we just had to attack faster than I was. This is a weird boss strategy. Just attack behind you. Yeah, sometimes she's got a little bit of delay when she does that. I mean, it seems to be working. It's not very precise, though. <laughs> All 
Alright, just changing things up. I see we're going back to this strategy now. The blast and summon. Except we don't have a camera, so we can't fight back now. She's gonna teleport back in. Oh, okay, I hit her and she teleported. <laughs> Can almost hit her feet. Protected by his flab. This seems to actually be hurting her, though. <laughs> um, we knocked all her clothes off. Now she's as, as fast naked ghost. We stripped off her darkness. <laughs> Definitely an awkward fight. <laughs> but we're winning. God. Can you imagine how annoying it would be to lose to her, though? How long this would take? Alright, I think she's done for. Oh, I thought we were gonna behead her. What's this? Well, I don't know, because you didn't tell me, game. <laughs> Gotta wait till I get back to look at it. Hey, guys! Balik lagi di ghost caught in the act! Oh my, look at her! Eh, kamu? Why is she covered in blood? What? It's so unreal. Should we inform the police, guys? No, it's fine. I was killing ghosts. We really gotta stop meeting people like this. Alright, well, bye. Remember that if you tell anyone anything... I'll come after you next. I know where you've logged from. An egg? It's getting weirder and weirder. I must go back to the fortune teller and report my finding. Mysterious egg. It looks like an ordinary egg, but something is terribly wrong with it. Is it a snake egg? For a snake god? Also, we got Dark Linda. Is that who that was? I didn't realize she was supposed to look like Linda. Linda's dark doppelganger who possesses some of her powers, like teleporting and stabbing. Dark Linda awakens dark vibrations that drive both human and spirit alike into uncontrollable madness. Well, she dealt with. So now, we go back to the Maung district. Just wait for everything to pop back in. Hey, you're back. I'm so glad that you're safe. Is there something you want to tell me? You found an egg? Is this a joke? Wait. Isn't a Samani chicken egg? Lots of people use this kind of egg for conducting dark rituals. And this particular egg was already had a certain mantra on it. Hmm, interesting. Listen, Linda. The only place famous for Samani chickens is Kampung Sinte. 
That was the place that Mona was telling us to go before, that there were a lot of weird things there. You must go there and search for more clues. While you're doing it, maybe, just maybe, more interesting things about you will be revealed. Let me know if you're ready to go there. And again, she just adds a location to our map. She doesn't actually send us there. I don't know why she even has to ask you that. All right, well, I think that was a pretty successful episode of Dread Out 2. We completed the hotel and dealt with Dark Linda. Oi. Yeah, he has nothing new to say. So yeah, we still don't really have an idea of what's going on with the plot. We're not really getting a lot of answers as we go from place to place fighting ghosts. But uh, until next time, I've been Shadefire, this is Dread Out 2. And I hope they'll hunt ghosts with me again next time. Or at least brutalize them with an axe. Take care, everyone.